This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Hi everyone, my name is Jairi Padro and I am a SnapEd Nutrition Educator with BronxWorks. SnapEd is a program that provides you with tips and tricks to save time, save money, all while eating healthy and maintaining an active lifestyle. My role is to help you find your own healthy eating style and maintain it throughout a lifetime. So we know that being active and eating healthy are the building blocks of a healthy life. So why don't we get started with today's recipe and see how the smallest changes can make the biggest differences. Today we're actually going to be making some mac and cheese. Now, we said that small changes make big differences and I think this is a great recipe to start making small changes, starting with dairy. Did you know that about 90% of Americans do not get enough dairy? A lot of people would benefit by switching to low-fat or fat-free milk or yogurt. For our mac and cheese, we're going to use non-fat milk and cheddar cheese. This is what I mean by making small changes that will make lasting differences. Simply switching to low-fat or non-fat dairy products provides very little saturated fat. And dairy that's high in saturated fat raises the bad cholesterol in your bloodstream, which can lead to heart problems. It's really important that we choose low-fat or non-fat versions of dairy at any age. They also prevent the onset of osteoporosis in adults, most of whom do not get enough nutrients found in dairy products. The amount of dairy foods you need each day depends on your age, but for adults, three cups a day is recommended. This is my plate. My plate is really just a visual reminder that everything that you eat and everything that you drink matters. It lays out all the five food groups that we should aim to have in every single meal. And that includes fruits, vegetables, protein, grain, and dairy. Right here is our dairy group, and our dairy includes milk, cheese, yogurt, and fortified soy milk. They provide calcium, which is great for maintaining our strong teeth and bones. They provide vitamin D, which is needed for our body to absorb the calcium and promote bone growth. They provide potassium, which is great for nerve function and for our muscles to contract. And they provide with protein, which has many roles in the body, but essentially, they help build and repair our muscles and our tissues so that our body is in balance. Now, what if you don't consume dairy? Well, I've got great news. There are calcium options for those who do not consume dairy products, but they're not a part of the dairy group. And that includes calcium fortified juices, cereals and breads and plant-based milks like rice milk or almond milk, canned fish like sardines or salmon with bones, they contain soft, tiny bones and are rich in calcium. And as a bonus, canned fish are natural sources of vitamin D, which we said before, helps our body absorb and use calcium. You can also get them from soybeans and soy products like tofu, soy yogurt, or tempeh. And some leafy greens like spinach, kale, collard greens, and bok choy. So why don't we go over the ingredients and talk about their health benefits? For our mac and cheese, we need one small head of broccoli, which is part of our veggie group on my plate. Aiming to make half our plates fruits and vegetables is the goal. So this will be our main vegetable for this recipe, but feel free to use any veggies you like. You can try chopped tomatoes, steamed cauliflower, butternut squash, cooked peas, or spinach instead of broccoli. A good money saving tip would be to use vegetables that are in season. We will also use five ounces of cheddar cheese, which is part of our dairy group. Now this may seem like a lot of cheese, but keep in mind that this recipe has 16 servings. We said that the recommended amount of dairy for adults is three cups every day. One and a half ounces of cheese is equivalent to one cup of dairy. Feel free to use any other low fat or non-fat cheese like part skim mozzarella, Monterey Jack cheese, or Parmesan cheese. We will use one 16 ounce package whole wheat macaroni, which is part of our grain group. We want to aim for whole grain versions of pasta because we want the most nutrition and fiber. Feel free to use other whole wheat pastas like penne or shells instead of macaroni. We'll need one and a half cups of nonfat milk, also part of our dairy group. One and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter. Now you would think that butter is part of the dairy group because it's made from milk, but actually it is not considered dairy food. 
Foods made from milk that have little to no calcium, such as cream cheese, sour cream, and butter, are not part of the dairy group and have a higher fat content. We need two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and four tablespoons of light cream cheese, which again is not part of the dairy group but has fewer calories and less fat than regular cream cheese. So let's get started with our recipe. First off, I wash my hands for 20 seconds under warm water and soap. Next, I'm gonna cook my macaroni according to package instructions. And while that's coming to a boil, I'm gonna get started on my broccoli. I rinse and chop my broccoli off in smaller pieces. I'm gonna microwave my broccoli in a microwave safe bowl and add just enough water to cover about halfway. And we're gonna cook that in the microwave for about six to eight minutes or until the florets turn bright green and tender. I am then gonna heat my non-fat milk in a separate small pot over medium heat. And while that's heating, I can get started on my cheese sauce. In a large pot over medium heat, I'm gonna melt my butter and add flour. With a whisk, I'm gonna constantly stir this mix. You can also do this with a fork. You'll notice that the mixture will be chunky, but no worries. Once you add all the other ingredients, it'll all blend together. After my milk heats up, I'm gonna slowly add it to the large pot and continue stirring until the sauce thickens. Your sauce should be thick enough to coat the back of a spoon, like this. Next, I'm gonna stir in my salt and black pepper, my cream cheese, my grated cheese, and my broccoli. And I'm gonna continue stirring this until the cheese melts. For extra flavor, you can add dried thyme or any other herbs and spices you like and mix it into the sauce. You can also add canned tuna or chicken pieces. Finally, I'm gonna add my already cooked and drained macaroni to the cheese sauce and stir. Now this last step is optional. You can top the dish off with breadcrumbs to add texture. I decided to substitute with minced walnuts to add more fiber, healthy fats, and protein. However you decide to make your mac and cheese, I hope that you enjoy and that you're switching to low-fat and non-fat milk, cheese, and yogurt. And remember, small changes make big differences. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with Snap Ed New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.